Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here. In this video, I want to share with you what is in my snowboard collection, all the boards I've bought over the past year or so, and share with you guys what my experience has been on these boards, why I bought them, and hopefully give you guys some good information to help you buy your next snowboard. So let's get into it with one of my favorite boards. Where is it? So this is the Yes 420. The reason I bought this board was for riding in powder and trees. The main feature of this board is that it's volume shifted. Basically what that means is it's a much shorter and wider snowboard just made for staying on top of the powder. Definitely the best time I had with this board was two years ago at Mount Hood with TJ and Doug riding in the trees. This board just allowed me to stay on top of the snow make quick turns through the trees, and just made powder and tree riding so much easier and so much fun. The Yes 420 is the type of board that is made to be a specialty board for riding only on those powder days and for somebody that really loves the trees as well. All right guys, so the next board is the LibTech T-Rise Pro. I bought this board because I wanted an all-mountain board that could carve, that I could take into powder and do some freestyle stuff with as well. And this really allowed me to do that. The magnet traction on this board is definitely the highlight for me for carving. Had a really great day with TJ carving this board in Whistler. I also had one of my best powder days on this board last year in Mammoth, California. The stiffer flex rocker on this board allow it to be really good in powder and also add that freestyle component. So this board did everything that I wanted it to do from carving to floating in powder and adding that freestyle element. Next up, I got the Arbor Westmark Camber. This board, more of a park oriented board that can still ride all mountain. The highlights for me are the grip tech on this board, allowing it to really give you a lot of control while riding at high speeds. This is another rocker board, so really forgiving, especially when doing spins or getting onto a box or rail, adding that freestyle element to your riding. Some of the highlights for me on this board were last year riding it in Europe. The grip tech really added that all mountain element, giving me control on some very steep slopes. But in the park, because of that rocker profile, I was able to still have some fun with it, hitting some jumps and going onto boxes. So a great board that allowed me to do everything last season in Europe. All right guys, so next up, one of my favorite snowboards, the Nitro Pow. The reason I bought this one was for last season, snowboarding in Japan. This thing is just made for riding in powder. It's another volume shifted board, so much shorter than the average board and a lot wider. The wide nose on this thing allows it to float so well in powder. I definitely had some of the best powder runs of my life on this board in Japan. And I can't say enough good things about this board because it feels like you're surfing down the mountain. Incredible shape, I highly recommend picking up a board like this if you ride a lot of deep powder or if you're lucky enough to do a trip to Japan. All right guys, so next up is the Battalion Global Warmer. The reason I picked up this board is because of the 3BT shape towards the nose and tail. Simply put, 3BT, it's like the nose and tail have a spoon shape, allowing the snowboard to make quick turns, be really catch free. The ideal board for doing butters and jibs. But to be honest, the highlight for me on this board was last year riding at Timberline Resort and riding in gullies. So through the gullies, this board turned really quick edge to edge because of that 3BT shape. It just allows you to smoothly transition from one turn to the next very quickly around quick turns. The 3BT definitely adds a different level to snowboarding and I really felt it through those gullies. Uh. 
So a board I picked up last spring was the Capita Horoscope. The reason I picked up this board was because I knew I was gonna be doing a lot of spring park riding and the Capita Horoscope seemed to be the perfect choice for the park. It's a twin shape with flat camber under your feet for stability with some rocker towards the nose and tail making it more catch free. And over the spring, I absolutely love this board. My best day on this board was last year at Mount Hood riding with the High Cascade Snowboard Camp and we were doing spins on some larger size jumps. And the word that kept coming to my mind to describe this board was consistent. It just had a very consistent feel. Whether I was hitting a box or a rail or a larger jump, I just really liked the way that this board flexed and the way that it gave me the combination of stability and pressability when I needed it. So just a great overall board for the park and definitely my favorite board of the summer. All right guys, so a brand new board. I just picked this up a couple weeks ago, the Burton Deep Thinker. This board is a great combination, all mountain freestyle board. So it's gonna allow me to do anything on the mountain. It's got a slight taper for riding in powder. It's got some camber towards the tail, giving me lots of pop for doing ollies and jumps. And then it's also got rocker towards the nose allowing it to float in powder. So just a board that is gonna allow me to do everything. The best day that I've seen on this board, I actually wasn't riding it. TJ was riding it in the trees here in Whistler and he had a blast riding it through the powder, through the trees. One of the reasons I bought it was on his recommendation. And so far I've had a great time riding it and looking forward to the first pow day on this board here in Whistler. The final board in my collection is the Capita DOA. I've only had one day on this board on the Stubai Glacier and I absolutely loved it. It's a fun all mountain park board, but I think more leaning towards the park. It's got that twin shape. It's got camber under your feet with some flat and rocker towards the nose and tail. So this board has a combination of stability, but then it's also catch free for the park. So from my one day of running it on the Stubai Glacier, it definitely felt the way I expected it to. Just giving me that combination of stability and forgiveness as I was riding through the park. It didn't take me too long to get used to this board. Some similarities to the Capita Horoscope, but the biggest difference is that this one is going to be stiffer, so better for bigger jumps and just more stability at high speeds. Just counting the days now until Whistler opens so that I can take this board up into the park and really put it to the test. Amazing guys, so those are the boards in my collection. It'd be awesome to hear from you guys and what snowboards are in your collection. I'll also put links to all these boards below if you wanna check any of them out. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you in the next video soon.